believe you're having a good morning and a good lunch. Let's get into the Word for a few minutes. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Now remember the reason that I'm doing these breakfast, lunch, and dinner is because Jesus said, Matthew 4, 4, man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. And just how natural food fuels our body throughout the day, and we eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and we probably snack in between. It's the same way with the Word of God. We need our spirit strong during this time. The Bible says it's a strong spirit of a person that sustains them in the midst of trouble. So we're injecting the Word of God into our spirit, man, so we can be strong to get us through in victory this time. Now listen to this. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. You probably have heard this, but it says, We know that all things work together for our good to those who love God or for good to those who love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. Now we know some things. We know that all things work together for good. Now stop there for a moment because you hear that a lot. People think that includes everybody. That does not include everybody. A car wreck is not working for our good. There's sickness and disease not working for our good in itself. Now it turns out for good to those who love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. Two different Two groups of people that love God. Now, that doesn't mean just flapping my lips, saying, oh, I love you, Lord, but my actions don't back it up. That I love God. I'm, I'm called according to his purpose. In other words, he's called. The word called means an invitation. At some point in time in your life, you felt the Holy Spirit tugging on your heart and you received the invitation to come into relationship with God through Jesus and you're staying in the process and we're trusting God. So during difficult times, he promises what the enemy meant for harm, God will turn it for our good because we do love God and we are called according to his purpose. We're in the process of knowing him and being the best us we can be. So realize that God wants to turn things around in our life, but he wants us to be in relationship with him and to trust him and to be confident in him. Remember in uh, Jeremiah 29, 11, it says, For I know the thoughts and the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, thoughts and plans to prosper you, to give you hope and to give you a future and not of evil. God's plan, this is where through relationship, God's plan unfolds through the process. God's plan unfolds through his word. God's plan unfolds through the right relationships. God's plan, he says, my plans that he wants to unfold for us, they're good and not evil. Now, listen to Ephesians chapter 2. So where is our protection? It's in the plan. Where are things turning around for our good? It's in the plan. Where is God taking what the enemy meant for harm and, and working it for our good? It's in the plan. The, the provision is in the plan. The wisdom is in the plan. The guidance is in the plan. The strength is in the plan. Uh, you answer the call and get into the plan. I want you to get into the plan. God wants you to get into the plan. Ephesians 2.10, it says, For we are God's own handiwork, his workmanship recreated in Christ Jesus, born anew, that we may do those good works which God predestined, planned beforehand for us, taking paths which he prepared ahead of time that we should walk in them, living the good life which he prearranged and made ready for us to live. So when we choose God, we choose his word, we choose relationship with God, we're stepping into the plan. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18 says the path or the plan of the righteous, those who are in right standing with God, those who have accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior, it gets brighter and brighter, not darker and darker. It might get darker out in the world, but for us, it's supposed to get brighter and brighter. We're going to get sharper. We're going to get stronger through this time. We're going to keep our trust in God, knowing that he's working all things together for our good because we do love him. And we've answered the call according to his purpose. We've stepped into the plan. We're, we're taking steps and we're experiencing this good life that God wants us to live. A good life means that we overcome. A good life means that we stay strong. A good life means we stay focused. A good life means we're being the best us we can be. A good life means we're walking in forgiveness and mercy and grace. A good life is we're trusting in God. So I want to encourage you to keep taking steps today in your relationship with God. Keep growing, keep going, and I'll talk to you soon.